Hello, welcome to a tutorial on installing the Pike software drivers. Before beginning, you'll first need to install the TempPro software if you're using a temperature controlled accessory or AutoPro software if you're using an automated Pike accessory. So after installing Pike TempPro or AutoPro software, go ahead and close the program. Next, power up your temperature controller or your motion controller. You'll need to connect the USB cord between your controller and an open port on your computer. And from the device manager in your Windows 10, you should see the Pike USB controller show up. It may not always show up under other devices. You may find it under ports or under the serial bus controllers. Mine shows up in when I'm doing a first install under other devices. And you can see there's a yellow triangle alerting you that this device needs the drivers installed. So right click update drivers. Go ahead and browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from available list on my computer. Now you'll see select device type from the list below. Just select next and then select have a disk and we'll go to browse and this will take you to the C drive, Pike underscore technologies, AutoPro if you're using AutoPro. If you happen to be using TempPro, the main folder will be TempPro. We're gonna go to the USB drivers and the folder CDM, et cetera. And once we do that, we're going to select the FDI port.inf file and then okay. And the window has completed the driver installation. You may find an update driver warning. Just say yes. And once you open your Pike software, I happen to be using TempPro. We can see that my accessory is online because the USB is open and my accessory I've selected it's online. If you want to look and double check and make sure your driver has been installed, go ahead and press help USB information. And there you can see my driver. So now you've established communication between your heated plate or automated stage and your computer, and you're ready to use the Pike Tempro or AutoPro software. Thanks for viewing today.